Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bosk of the Bosk Coin YouTube channel, and today I'm here to talk to you about what mining pool I've been using for my Ant Miner L3 Plus. I have a full review on the Ant Miner L3 Plus. If you're interested, just click on my channel, and it's a couple videos back. It's my initial review on the Ant Miner L3 Plus. I have a full, a little more in depth technical review. I'm gonna start working on, and I'll get that up probably over the next week or so, so make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe to the Bosscoin YouTube channel. So based on the size of the pool, I chose F2 pool because I don't have a lot of ant miners. I just have this one ant miner L3 plus. So it's kind of the same logic that I kind of used for Zcash or Ethereum mining, for example, Fly Pool and Ethermine. They're the biggest pools. They're gonna find blocks. If you're mining on that pool, you're gonna get pieces of the buy. You know, your mileage will vary. That's with everything and anything, especially crypto. So choose your own pool. I'm just here to tell you about how this pool treated me. So I'm just gonna talk about the, about the first five days or so. I had this and I was mining on F2 pool. What I liked about F2 pool is with every Litecoin you mine, you also get 100 Dogecoin. Again, that's basically nothing, but more is better than none, right? So I'm with it. And the day I got my Ant Miner, I think I was one of the first people to get my L3 Plus from that batch over to my ant miner at the end of April, I think it was like the third batch or so. And uh, I mined 0.77 Litecoin one day. Freaking awesome, right? And it kind of dropped significantly over the next couple days as all the miners from that batch hit their destinations. So you can see, I'm just doing about this little five day stretch and I'm down to 6.4. And if you're watching this, probably it's dropped down to 0.6 to 0.62. I'm estimating based on how many miners kind of reached their destination, but maybe they didn't have a power supply form yet or something like that. But that seems to be about the entirety of the impact from this batch. Also, again, you may be mining a much higher amount of Litecoin on another pool. I don't know. I've just used this one so far, and I'm just here to report on this, compare it to your current earnings, and so on. And actually, I'd really appreciate it if you guys would drop in the comments below where you're mining and what your results are per Miner L3 Plus. So you can see 0.77, drop, 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 kind of slows down, nothing crazy. And this is the Exodus wallet. It's a pretty cool wallet. If you're looking for a multi-coin, you know, nice graphic, sleek looking wallet, you can just download on, uh, it's on Mac, Windows, and Linux, no mobile platforms, and they do not cross sync. Other than that, setup was a breeze. I mean, it was click, click, boom, I'm on the pool. Setting up a worker was very easy. I mean, zero issues between the pretty intuitive Antminer L3 Plus software in conjunction with the instructions on the pool. I mean, you know, I'm no crazy expert, but I've done this a couple of times. And I mean, if I, this was my first miner and I was just setting it up, I could definitely get it set up with um, F2 pool, just cause it's pretty easy. Other than that, I didn't really have any uptime issues. I used the Litecoin pool, like that's the actual pool. I'm just saying that if you Google Litecoin pool, I think it's that .org. And it's toted as the longest running Litecoin pool. I used that as my backup pool. And there were some downtime issues, very, very minimal with F2 pool, but so minimal, I never even got a payout from Litecoin pool just for reference. So again, you know, your mileage will vary. Based on some info from other people, I'd recommend checking out Pro Hashing. If you check out my channel, I've got an older video on Pro Hashing when I was using it with my Bicycle Miners and it freaking rocked, but it had a ton of uptime issues. But, you know, it doesn't really matter if you just set a backup pool, I guess. I mean, not exactly the most consistent and I really like consistency in my life and consistent payouts because that also helps you gauge how effective is this pool. But you could try that as your primary or backup and you get paid out whatever coin you want. A lot of people are mining script on there with their L3 Plus and just choosing Litecoin as their payout. If you want to mine Bitcoin, the payout is $250, so it does take a little while. So is F2 pool the best pool for mining Litecoin? I don't know but these are my findings on it. Drop your comments below so we can figure this out and we can all make the most money. Cause that's cool, right? Make sure to subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time.